welcome back to my channel so today is going to be another review so I've been seeing this brand all over Instagram it is INH insert name here it is a hair extension company based in Los Angeles and they have been in the Ariana Grande videos and everything with her high pony and she is like the queen of high ponies so you know this brand is legit well at least we're gonna try to test it out. So INH contacted me and they wanted me to try out some of their products. Um, they have so many products. I thought they only had one type of ponytail extension, but they have all kinds of ponies, all kinds of lengths, textures, colors, and then they have like bangs, they have like regular extensions, they have wigs, they have buns. Did I say that? I don't know. So I chose two products from them, two ponytails actually. So we are going to be trying that out today. This one, her name is Brit. She is 26 inches. She has a really nice soft curl to her. So that's Brit. And then I got this one. Her name is Mia. She is 24 inches and she's a little bit more straight than Brit. Um, and this one was featured in the Ariana Grande video. So you know I had to try this one. Oh, and by the way, both of these are in jet black. So that's what we're going to be testing out today. They actually helped me with the color. So I just sent them a couple pictures of my hair in daylight and then they recommended a color for me. And they can totally do that for you too if you need help in choosing a color. Just DM them and then someone will help you from there. But let's try it. So obviously I have to put my hair in a ponytail first. And by the way guys, my hair is actually really long as it is and I've never tried any type of extension before but since they asked if I wanted to try it I'm like sure why not I feel like they knew how long my hair was so so this works with a high pony a low pony a mid pony whatever the heck you want I am doing a high pony but where it's placed I need it placed where it's just sitting on top of my head and not hanging like if I put it here it's going to be hanging so I want to put it a little bit higher where it's kind of like sitting on my head and that actually helps a lot when it comes to headaches for me anyway so it's not just pulling at your head throughout the day so I think we're ready to tie it up so I tied it up with two hair ties so that's how high I did mine um, I really hope my hair isn't too long for these extensions, but we'll see. I feel like I have to put another hair tie in because I just don't want it to slip off. You want to make sure it's super secure. And if you guys have short hair, you can do like a little bun up here and then attach the extension to the bun. Let's try Brit. She's got a soft curl to her. And just carefully taking off this hair nut. Ooh, okay, she's long. I just want to measure it out a little bit. She is, where's my real hair? I literally can't find my actual hair. So this is not gonna give me too much length, but it's gonna give me lots of volume. So I'm excited for that. Oh my gosh, it feels so nice. I wish my hair actually felt like this. My hair is a little bit, like the strands of my hair is a lot more thick and less silky, but this is like, super silky i like it um anyway so this is what it looks like there is some lace right here one little clip right there and then over here this is like the rough texture of velcro and then back here is the soft texture so we're gonna wrap this around the ponytail and then as you can see this is an extension of the wrap around so we're gonna take this curly bit and then it's gonna go all the way around and then we're gonna pin it down. So that's the plan, guys. And I love the idea of curling this bit here because it wraps around the ponytail a lot more naturally. Let's just try it out. This is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I guess I'm just gonna go at the base of the ponytail. Wait, how do you do this? Oh, this thing is actually not a clip. You just put it right here and you just like push it in just so it doesn't slide around. So smart. So I'm grabbing all the hair like this and then I'm taking this guy, pulling it under, trying to secure it and kind of wrap it around. That was easy. And this guy is just gonna go all the way around. And then I'm just going to secure it just at the bottom here. I'm going to push that in. And then I feel like it might not need the other one, but 
I'm just gonna put it right here just in case for extra security and that is it guys oh, look at that I feel like it actually looks like my hair so this is how long it looks and that is what it looks like cute right so I don't even know where my real hair is anymore like it left it's gone it's hiding somewhere I honestly thought it was just gonna look like my regular hair but it looks 10 times better and it's actually not that heavy it's obviously heavier than my normal hair than what I'm used to but it's not as heavy as I thought it was going to be so I'm just gonna take this out real quick Woo! so on to the next one so this is Mia everyone <laughs> she's just unraveling herself she's got a little bit of texture to her but not that much. I thought it was going to be a little bit more crazy with the texture, but I'm actually glad that it isn't because I wasn't sure about it when I saw it online because it looked like it was like super crimped. But right now it's like, it looks pretty normal. I'll probably wear Brit on a little bit more fancier day when I want it to be a little bit more curled or whatever. But this is going to be like an everyday type of pony. So I'm just going to stuff this little thing in there. I'm going to do the exact same thing. Put this hand with the extension under all that hair. This is where I'm securing it with the Velcro. And then wrapping around the rest of the hair. This texture actually makes it look even more like my natural hair because it isn't as perfect and shiny, which you know, isn't a bad thing. I like how it's like a totally different look than Brit. So I just put in the pins and I am done. That was so easy. I like this. I do like this straightened look. This one also blends in with my hair perfectly. Um, I actually really like this one. It's nice and simple, but you can totally dress this up too, obviously. I do like this. Also, what's really good about these hair extensions is if you are not a fan of the texture, the original texture that they give you, this little crimpiness going on here. Um, I actually personally like it because it takes away from the shininess and it makes it look a little bit more natural and it also gives it a little bit more volume as well. But if you guys are not a fan of it, you can always straighten it or curl it or whatever, but as soon as you do that, you will never get back the original texture, of course. So just make sure that you're thinking it through before you do something like that. But that's about it. I really like this one. I didn't think I'd like this one as much because of the texture, but I actually really, really do love the texture of it. All right, guys. So let me know which one you guys like more. This is the Mia or the Brit which is right over here. And it's so easy. I didn't have to like style my natural hair at all, which actually takes me so long because my hair is pretty thick and it's pretty long. But with this, I just had to put it in a ponytail and then attach this on it. It's definitely a ponytail game changer. Like this is the look that I strive for every time I do a ponytail, but I always feel like it's never enough. But with this, this feels like more than enough. And it was so easy. Why didn't I get this before? <laughs> but anyways, guys, I had so much fun trying this out. This is all new to me. Again, I've never tried extensions before, but now I feel like I need them. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.